a, a random sample. So the question would be then to be coming from how do we get a random sample? Now in practice, of course, you can ra somehow randomly choose the population of, of people of people. That has its own problems in real life because we have to figure out how, how exactly are we going to do that. If you're just working with the numbers statistically, then the question is, well, here's my population. How could I get a random sample of this? Now, uh, we do, we've got that random number generator that we could use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this entire thing and I'm gonna put that over here and I'm gonna paste it just one, two, three, meaning just the values. So I've got all the values. They've been sorted, but all the values are there. And then I'm gonna put next to it my random uh, random number generator. I'll just call it rand. And then I'm gonna then create my, my random numbers over here. So I can make a random number generator by saying equals R-A-N-D. So there's our random number. And I'm just gonna hit enter. It usually puts it in as a decimal. If I go to the home tab, numbers, and add the decimals, it's a very long decimal number. And then I can populate this all the way down to, to match the height data so I have a random number. If I double click on the fill handle, let me do that again, control Z. I could like put my cursor here and drag it down, but the easiest way to get it down because it's right next to this other set of data is to put your cursor on that little fill handle right there and then double click on it. And that should take it all the way down to that to that bottom point of these numbers. So then I'm gonna enter a table around this to kind of connect these two things, go into the insert tab up top, and we'll go to the tables and I'm gonna insert a table. So now it should select the entire table because, because there's no empty cells. So hopefully that picked up the whole thing. I could see the endpoint being at that 25001. So I'm gonna say, okay, there it is. I'll make this one, I'll double, I'll make this, a little smaller again, dragging that in. I'm gonna wrap the text on, on these header cells, home tab, uh, home tab, alignment, wrapping the text. I'm gonna center them and there we have it. So now these are kind of connected together. So now if I want a random selection, I can sort by the random numbers. These are all random numbers. So every time I click on them, they reshuffle so if I sort by the random numbers, it's going to give us a, a, a random sorting to the numbers to the right. Now, the problem here, of course, is that every time I do something, it shuffles again. So what I'm going to have to do is get a static num random number over here. So now I can just simply uh, copy these. I can take these two if I, and I can, that's my random number generator. And now I can paste them right here. I'm going to paste them one, two, three, though, right clicking, pasting one, two, three, because I don't, I don't want the actual random function to show up. And then if I want to include, include the formatting, I could actually right click and insert the formatting as well. But what I'd rather do is just make another table out of it. I could put the formatting on it like this. And so then I've got, I've got it nice and formatted but I don't really need that second step because I'm gonna add the table. So I'm just gonna click in it, go to insert uh, tables and add the table again. And so boom. So now we've got a random number generator that's not gonna shuffle around all the time. It's actually a very long number. I can sort by the random numbers and that should give us kind of a random selection of the numbers on the right. And I can select just how many of the sample that I want by, by picking however long of a sample I want to be looking at. Let's start with a simple sample of 10. Later, we will get into concepts of how large does the sample need to be to provide a certain level of confidence. But for right now, let's just get the idea of picking the random sample and using our tools in Excel to simulate those random samples. So we have shuffled the items. We're gonna say if I just pick the first 10 now, that is gonna be our random sample. We are currently in row number two, so I can go from two down to 11, and that'll be 10 items. So I'm just gonna put my cursor on P2, select down to uh, P11, 
right click and copy or you can say control C right click and copy I'm gonna put that over in s2 here right click and I'm not gonna paste them normal because I don't want the formatting instead pasting one two three and then I'll just label it maybe sample up top so so now if I just look at these numbers and to see whether or not they are representative remember that the actual numbers were here so there's the average the mean the median if I uh, represent that data down below just so we can see it kind of side by side I'll put it down here somewhere in uh, S17 I'm just gonna say equals I'm gonna scroll to the left to find that table and I'm just gonna recreate uh, that table I'm gonna put my cursor in the average enter and now I'm gonna put my cursor in the cell and copy it to the right and it should pull in the relative reference to the right so there's the average and then I'm gonna copy it down and it should give us the relative numbers down so here's that middle point that we usually refer to on the average uh, 6799 the numbers we picked up 68 like you can take the difference between the two you could say the average is that so the difference so the average so the diff difference or ch is going to be equal to this minus this right and then the average is the same all the way down so I can copy that all the way down say so there's my average and each point on the average difference there's the difference on each point from the average notice that some are over and some are under that's kind of what we would expect if we did just a random sample on the averages and the tendency of course the idea would be that we we start to go towards the middle by doing the random uh, samples of 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 them right and if I took if I took the average of all the ones we took the average of the sample I can say this is going to be the average of the 10 that we pulled out and we get something we get the uh, 6801 which you know it's pretty close in this case to the average now notice 10 out of this whole population is a fairly small you know number so the, so we could we could run larger numbers unless and we want to do this for a couple different reasons obviously a larger sample uh, could give us more confidence which we'll talk more about technically later but also we just want to kind of practice how we can use our statistical uh, tools in Excel uh, to, to to say well what if I wanted to kind of simulate the the idea that I ran uh, that I ran 10 10 tests of 